Hey guys, this is Hollywood Modeling. Welcome to my newest short little video. This is gonna be a cute review of uh, Dragon's Kleiner Panzer Spewagen 1 in 135th scale. This is one of Dragon's 3 in 1 kits. It's an older kit, as you can see on the back, there's no uh, print in the back of the box. Um, so, the side of the box. 3 in 1 kit. I have uh, 3 options to build this kit. Uh, 3 sheets of photo etch. Decals. Uh, I love those uh, photo etch jerry can pieces that are in there. There are ex actually 8 jerry cans in there that can be assembled in order to uh, put them on the kit, but I'll show you that a little later. Same as the box art. We've got some of the, the highlight pictures of the nice uh, detail and again box art okay let's take a look inside the box and take a look at the kit we got instructions i'll go gonna go sprue for sprue with you guys okay i'm sorry for the the way the camera is uh, situated here but uh yeah i have to find a way to get the camera lined up uh, lower hull it's uh, actually in plastic, so I like that a lot. Um, nice rivet detail. Wait, I hope you guys can see this. Wait, let me get something black in order to back up what I'm showing you. One second, guys. Here we go. Maybe that will uh, get you to, to, to see the detail. I don't know, but there's a nice rivet detail on there. Now here you can see, right there, nice rivet detail. I like this. Okay. Um, we got the next sprue, which is actually already open. Now open it to to see what's inside, to look at the detail, so I can uh, take it out of the plastic here quickly. Um, it's got the upper hole and parts of the turret. There is no movable turret, so it's all part of the upper hole. We got some, uh, we've got, sorry guys, got the antenna up there and the machine gun, which is the only armament this uh, small little tank has got. We got the antenna holder, all that kind of stuff, the machine gun uh, mantlet. Yeah, once again, nice detail. I can't see flash. So for an older dragon kit and for the, the price I paid, I got this on eBay for 10 euros. Roughly, when I include shipping, it's 12 euros, so uh, that's a reasonable price, I think. Okay, uh, now here comes one of the downfalls of this kit. Um, there are actually two uh, similar sprues, so, uh, or two identical sprues, so I only will show you one of them. Um, as you can see, um, freaking small tracklings, and the, the bad part about them... They actually uh, are connected to the sprue at five separate uh, spots. So cutting them out and cleaning them up is going to be a pain in the arse. If it's not working, I think I have to look for aftermarket tracks. But I'm not sure whether or not there are aftermarket market tracks for this kit. We got road wheels and suspension up here. Uh, yeah. Sprocket, uh, idler wheel, all that kind of stuff on those two sprues. Once again, I'm not sure what, how and uh, if how those uh, tracklings will, uh, yeah, go off that sprue. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. We got the jerry cans, as I told you. Um, it's not yeah. It's uh, two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six, not eight. They are nicely detailed, and there's photo edge to go in between the two hell, uh, to two styrofoam, uh, uh, the two uh, styrofoam, the two plastic halves. Polystyrol, sorry guys, styrofoam. See, I'm totally brain dead today. Um, we've got the huge antenna for one of the versions that I can build. Um, 
I'm not. I, I think I'm gonna build the one with the nice antenna because let's face it, this antenna is awesome. Uh, other than even though uh, if that would have been there in photo etch, I guess that would have been even better. But uh, I'm happy that it's not because I'm not the best photo etch builder, as I told you in other videos. Um, the second to last sprue. It includes uh, other parts for the lower hull. Uh, suspension, fire extinguisher, tools, suspension up here actually, tools, engine, deck, and the final screw, what's that, we got some more of the fender detail, the, um, what's it called, yeah you know what I'm talking about, uh, the jack um smoke dischargers no that's not smoke dischargers that's parts of the exhaust okay but everything nicely detailed no flash whatsoever okay photo etch um we got the clear parts on the photo etch sheet here clear parts actually two uh two sprues of clear parts and as i told you actually Three sheets of photo etch, uh, engine and uh, exhaust, fenders, and the jerry can parts, and a huge sheet of decals. I like this. Wait, I'm gonna give this a closer look. I want to see how good those decals look, and I want to show you whether or not they are any good. I'm, I'm not an expert on decals, but all you guys are talking about shiny and flat and so I'll give it a give it a look and they look awesome. They are flat as can be. Okay, uh, as this is a kit that's sold in Germany, there the swastikas are incomplete. I'm trying to show them to you. There they are. They are actually incomplete. There are little pieces and little. Parts of the swastika missing, but still, that's better than what Tamiya does, just marking them with a big black uh, dot, which is awful. Okay, we got the dragon, typical dragon instructions. Wait, I gotta tone down the light here, guys. That's better. Um, They're black and white with some blue, but that's what it is. So those are the basic instructions. We got uh, one, two, and three for the three different versions up here. Um, right there, one, two, three for the different versions, but the first seven steps are identical for every version. So that's the suspension, wheels, uh, tracks, all that kinds of stuff that's in the, the first six, seven steps and the upper whole turret -y thing. Okay, from there on, the, the build var var varies. Uh, this is the frame antenna version goes right through step number 15 which is the finally uh, final assemble final assembly of the the antenna and then the the, the, the vehicle is done and you've got the uh, add-on armor version which which is a nice version too I like this a lot but I think I'm gonna go with the frame antenna here I'm actually right now bidding on the same vehicle on eBay again so maybe I've got two so then I can decide what what kind of thing I'm gonna build so much photo etch guys I'm not sure if I can do this but I'm gonna give it a try actually I ordered the Tamiya CA glue dispenser that uh, Lee or Paul once again I always mix you guys up from ISM uh, mentioned today when talking about uh, on his uh, little uh, how-to and uh, review on uh, modeling uh, pieces and bits I just ordered this today for a whooping four euros, so it's gonna be here in hopefully quite a fast a bit. And uh, I ordered AK product products as uh, AK is going out of uh, is closing down or has uh, shut down its cooperation with uh, Miguel, whoever I can't always remember his name. Put all the blame on me here. Miguel Jimenez, I guess, so it's the guy who produces the mixed stuff, and uh, yeah. Coming back to the instructions, this is the tropical version down here. Nothing special about that, that's just 
plain simple the kit just without the antenna or the added armor then after this this is the assembly of the jerry cans I guess they are supposed to go on the tropical version but I think I can put them on every other vehicle version that is there okay then we've got um painting and markings once again three different types this is the frame antenna we got the added add-on armor and we got the uh, tropical version once again the typical gray blue mess that dragon instructions were back then I would have loved them to do them in color so that I can see actually what they think it should look like okay guys this is everything that's in the box summing it up I love this kit especially considering that I only paid nine euros or ten euros roughly because it's great no flash a lot of detail a lot of parts it's more than 400 parts 495 a lot of photo etch a nice big decal sheet and the option to build three different things three sorry not tree I don't want to build a tree uh, awesome well uh, I think I'm gonna do another kit review after this one so I'm not sure whether or not when this video is gonna go up uh, I hope you enjoy it I hope you uh, keep on watching my videos I'm actually closing in on 100 subscribers and I'm thinking about doing a giveaway when I reach 100 subscribers. I'm not sure about that yet. And if I do, what I'm going to give away is not going to be pretty or fancy. It's just going to be a small little kit, but I'm going to give it away if I'll do. I'll let you know, guys. So thanks again for subscribing. I'm at 81. Let me give it a quick look. I can tell you in a sec. Um... While I'm uh, looking for that, I'm happy that Storm is back. Great video, guy, uh, buddy. It's 82 right now. And for all of you who have not seen the It's Up To You Now video, guys, you still can vote on ISM for what I'm going to paint next. I'm looking forward to your votes because right now there's a tie at the top. And, uh, well, I don't want to be the typebreaker. So go out there, vote for it, and uh, let me know what you think I should build. So thanks again for watching. Peace out, this is Hollywood Modeling. Bye.